and then I'll let you film. If you're gonna get the second one for you. How's it going? Hey, Andrew. Good. Nikki. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the website. My name is Red Text. Today we're here with the band that I've been wanting to interview for actually a very long time. Necro Goblicon, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm doing swell. I am fine. How are you doing tonight? Eh. 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 Pretty good, you know. I mean, you guys just got off Warp Tour. Are you guys still fucking, like, exhausted from that, or...? Oh, I'm, I mean, not too much. Not too much. I love being on the road. Yeah. Get back into the swing of things. How comfortable were you guys bunks on the bus, though? Like, was it was it leisure-ish? I mean, the bunks are fine, but it's the, the bumpiness that yeah. makes it still... Even on a bus, I mean, there's a wider wheel base than, like, the band that we're in now. But, right. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's comfy, but I think it's better having our own bunks rather yeah. than just being crammed in the band. Well, you guys, like, mostly used to sleeping on the road now, I mean, after this, but you guys have been doing this for... God, fuck. Like, I've known about you guys since 2012. <laughs> like... Yeah, a lot longer than that. Yeah. 2013, so... Yeah, we've probably been touring since, like, 2013, so... Right on. Just, like, California tours and stuff. So what was, like, the biggest inspiration for, like, goblins? Like, why goblins? I actually wondered, is, like, is anyone who created it play, like, World of Warcraft or something? Let me ask, let me answer your question with a follow-up question. Okay. Why interviews? Why interviews? Because I like talking to people. I guess you like goblins. I don't know. That's fair. <laughs> right on. I, don't just I, I think it's a great, like... Yeah, this is a Nikki question. All right. Uh, I played a little while. Okay. goblins were a playable race. All right. Did you see the Blizzard backpack? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just, you know, it was kind of a joke at first. It was like, let's make a, an album called Goblin Island. Buddy who co founded the band, who's since quit. Um, and I was like, dude, that's a really fucking funny idea. We were just talking on AIM and sarcasm, you know. So then the next day, I went to his house and we recorded the song Goblin Island because it was like, dude, this has to be real now, you know? And then we put it on MySpace and started spamming people. And like, <laughs> I, I received some of that spam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to write like an individual letter to like all these strangers, like, hey, you know? It was fun. I feel like I saw the Necrogoblicon logo way before <laughs> joining the band. And I want to say it's because of the spamming. Yeah. Been, yeah. The spamming? Yeah. Hey, it works though, right? Oh, yeah. It worked on MySpace. It worked on MySpace. Yeah, it was like a friend request. <laughs> you could send them a friend request. They didn't just have to follow you. you know? Oh, that's true. Yeah, now with the Facebook and everything. It's crazy. So, now that you guys are on a new tour or whatever, do you guys have any new music or a new album coming out? Welcome to Bonkers. Which um, came out in April. Yeah, it came out April. Really? That soon? Yeah. That, yeah. That, oh, wow. Yeah. Still real fresh. We started releasing a couple of the tracks like, before it comes out, as, as you do, but then um, we just, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, you're good. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, music. Um, music, it's a so, thing. Yeah, this is, we're, we're still touring on this album, and we've got another tour in October, and then we're talking about maybe going to Europe next year, and we'll probably do one more lap around the country on a headlining tour before we start looking at the next one. So That's awesome. Like you gotta, you gotta, you know, just like do stuff in front of Call people. it an album cycle. Yeah, you an album cycle? cycle. Yeah. So it's like when you do your clothes, you got the washer and the dryer. So your album cycle, you got the recording and we have the Right. And then once people are sick of hearing those songs, you make more of them. What is like your favorite song to do live? Like, if, is there a specific part you guys like to play on, like, your specific interests, or vocally, if you have any lyrics, or... Whatever, you know, they're all the same, I'd say, for me. I like the Skin Thief. It's a fast ripper of a tune, and I like to play it. It's, it's fun. <laughs> but I they're like all, to play they all that. Have Eric just loves blasting. It's <laughs> a bunch of blasting, so. Yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, Rainbow. Yeah. So, I don't know, but they're all super fun to play, because I have... More room to breathe and rock out and throw sticks, even though I don't do that because they're too expensive. If I break one, I might throw it at you. <laughs> I'd be honored. <laughs> you, sir. Oh, um, currently, um, Darkness 
Darkness is awesome. It's got that sick bridge section on the keys. It's really fucking loud, and everyone just is like, yeah. It's a good That's feeling. awesome. It's pretty dope. So th thank you guys so much. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but it is it's such an honor to interview you guys seriously. So Andrew, much, correct. Nice to meet you, thank you so much. Thank you. Necro Goblicon, catch them on the tour.